Well, there's more breaking news tonight. The world's number one ranked tennis player, Novak Djokovic, is embroiled in a massive COVID controversy. He may not be able to play in the Australian Open. After being held at the Melbourne airport for several hours, Djokovic was refused entry into the country after his visa was canceled. The Australian prime minister says he didn't have a valid medical exemption for a COVID vaccine. Djokovic has not publicly revealed his vaccination status, but has spoken out multiple times against vaccine mandates in the past. Now, according to Reuters, in a Facebook, uh, in a fo Facebook live chat in 2020, Djokovic said, quote, personally, I'm opposed to vaccination. I wouldn't want to be forced by someone to take a vaccine in order to be able to travel. Joining us now, former professional tennis player and ESPN tennis analyst, Patrick McEnroe. Patrick, thanks for being with us. I'm wondering what you make of everything that has happened over the, just the last few hours with Djokovic's visa. Well, what started out, Anderson, is just a firestorm in the tennis world, has become a firestorm politically in Australia, and it's just become a you-know-what show. It's been an absolute disgrace what has happened from start to finish here. Look, Novak Djokovic, I don't agree with the fact that he's uh, decided to make the, the, his own decision not to be vaccinated, but he did follow the guidelines that were presented to him as far as getting a medical exemption so that he could go and play at the Australian Open. Now, when he made the trip to go to Australia from Europe, which takes well over 24 hours, he released an Instagram picture, Anderson, in which he said, I've been granted a medical exemption. I'm on my way to Australia. Can't wait to go to try to win my 10th Australian Open. Well, that created the firestorm from the Australian public, who, as you know, Anderson, has had to go through six different lockdowns for over 250 days in the last just over a year. So the citizens of Australia, particularly of Melbourne, not looking too kindly at someone coming into their country unvaccinated with an exemption when they themselves were not able to get exemptions to see loved ones that were seriously ill in the hospital. So that created this firestorm. The prime minister got involved. And I think that's where Novak Djokovic became a political pawn in Australia. I mean, over the last two years, he hasn't followed COVID protocols closely, right? Not at all. I mean, he uh, he had a tournament that early on in the pandemic in the summer of 2020 was supposed to help raise money for people in, in Serbia and neighboring countries. That turned out to be an absolute disaster uh, because he got COVID, his wife got COVID, numerous other players got it as well. They were, there was videos of them partying in a bar, no social distancing, no masks, and so on. Then he's been very coy, Anderson, about the fact that is he vaccinated or not? He's never actually said one way or the other. He's just said, as you noted in a Facebook Live post, I don't believe in vaccines. I also don't believe in mandates to be able to travel. Well, guess what? The world has changed. The world is different. You're entitled to have your own personal beliefs and take your own stands, but you're not entitled to impose them on other people all over the world, particularly when you're traveling from country to country. So it's his right to say, I don't want to get vaccinated, but it's not his right to then say, I can go to any country I want to and not abide necessarily by their laws. That's where Australia brought down the hammer. But I don't think it really makes Australian government look that good either, because Novak was able to get on the plane, supposedly with this visa in place. He gets to Australia. That's where the federal government, Anderson, took over and said, we're going to override what the state of Victoria, which is where the Australian Open is played in Melbourne, we're going to override that decision because we don't think his medical records deem that he has the exemption necessary so that he can get into the country unvaccinated. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Patrick McEnroe, it's just it's fascinating developments. As you said, it has just blown up. Uh, I really appreciate you being with us. Thank you, Patrick. Thanks for having me. I had a new geo.